Hi, Sue Lawson here for Weaver News. I am at Expo 2012 on the show floor here with Heather Williams from Adamus. So let me take you through it here. As you can see, I've set my Nikon up here, which is an amazing camera. I've set my Nikon up to output 1080 24p, which gives you that nice film look. And then here you have your ProRes selections. And down here you'll notice that you have how much recording time you have left on the hard drive. Oh, that's very nice. That yeah. Because that is so good to know, so I don't have to try and keep track and it's not just the little bars where I'm trying to figure out how much is actually left. This is giving me kind of a real-time estimate. Absolutely and watch how it changes. So if I select 422 notice I'll get a little bit more recording time and then LT you get almost double what you do with HQ. You don't want your battery to go down. We have a monitor so you can check the battery power and as you can see battery one's about to deplete but no worries, it'll just switch over to battery two whenever it depletes. Now you can make the mistake of taking off the wrong battery and that doesn't matter, it'll just switch over to the other battery as you're changing. There's no stop in recording at all. That's nice. Now what type of batteries does it take? It takes the Sony camcorder batteries. So if you already have some in your kit, you can go ahead and use them. You can buy the bigger batteries if you want. We also sell an extra accessory called a D-Tap, which would allow you to plug into the wall if you're in the studio and you know you're not going anywhere. You can plug into some power. Very nice. Very nice. So let me just go ahead and show you. You can actually record from this button here, or you can... Be assured about what you're recording and record straight from the monitor view. And it's really easy. You just hit a, a, red, a red record button. <laughs> I, I don't know how you guys came up with that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you can just continue recording. And a lot of cameras, you can also trigger off the time code as well. So just hit stop. And then if you want, you can just hit playback right here. Now the unit actually shuts off and turns back on as a playback device. And here you have all of your clips that you took today, that you shot today. And you just simply hit play. You can scrub through it wherever you like. Oh, that's nice. Let me go ahead yeah. and show my, my client right away what it looks like. It's just like, here, here's what I just yeah. shot. Yeah, and hey, even better, there's an HDMI out. So you could outplay to a larger monitor and show your client on a bigger screen. Without having to go through a computer at all. I'm just going mm -hmm. directly out of this. Yeah into the bigger screen, I've got instant playback. Oh, absolutely. You can detach this from the camera and be on, on your way home on the plane. I know you fly a lot on the plane, on the train, in the car ride home. You can do some pre-edits. You can view some footage. You don't have to wait till you get back to the editing suite to do your work. You can start it right away. And one of the things you can also do to point out is you can loop play. If you only wanted to show a portion of the clip to your client, you can go ahead and set that up and just show them over and over, the bride kissing the groom, the father giving his speech. Look how nice this looked. So That's great. Yeah. So those are the basics. But I say basics because it couldn't get any easier to use. No, it couldn't. It really no. couldn't. I can use this. <laughs> I, can, I can use this. And, and I will. <laughs> and Sue will. Now one thing to point out that's a feature for the Final Cut X users is you're also, you also have the ability to tag some clips. So you can go through the clip, you can tag your favorite and your rejects, and as you can see right here, you export it as an XML file, which easily incorporates right into Final Cut. Now, am I able to take clips as I'm recording or just on the, uh, on the back end when I'm kind of viewing the thing? I'm so glad you asked because you can do both. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know the answer to the question. I know I should never ask something if I don't know the answer. I didn't know the answer. That's a yeah. good one, though. That's yeah. a great answer. Yeah, imagine you know, a wedding videographer filming the wedding. He can leave this going the entire time. Oh, the father gets up to give a toast. Oh, favorite favorite again on the out point and then when he gets back to the editing suite he's got all of his you know his major events in the wedding already clipped tagged. Now this is recording directly to a hard drive. Yes it is. Um, how large of a drive will it take? Well, you know, the hard drive is actually the one thing we don't provide in the kit because we find a lot of users have their preference. We recommend Hitachi, Seagate, some higher-end Western Digitals. We also have some solid-state drives that we've approved, like SanDisk as well. And you'll notice I have a SanDisk Extreme SSD in here. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's got the solid-state one. Who can blame her? I'm prepared. <laughs> and just a rule of thumb, Sue, you'll get at least an hour of footage for every 100 gigs. Okay. Okay, so you can go to Best Buy, you can go to Fry's, you can go to many, uh, 
of our wonderful resellers around the country and get drives anywhere from a 500 gig between 70 and 100 dollars. You're eliminating the expensive internal flashcards that you need. That's excellent. And obviously the drives, I just popped this out. And you have an adapter for this, do you? We know? do. We do. We have a dock. And I'll take you over and I'll show you what's, uh, what the kit comes with. Excellent. You can name your, your device. So right now it's named Ninja 2, but if you have a multi-cam shoot, you could name it Camera 1, oh, Camera 2. It actually, I love that. I it, love that. It names the hard drive for you, so when you take all of the hard drives out, you'll know exactly what camera they came that from. Great. And for the people who do a lot of the corporate work as well, where I've got multiple cameras who are going out shooting something, we've got to turn it around very Absolutely. quickly. This is ideal because I'll know exactly what it came from. Yes. And there's... I don't have to worry about transcoding things. I can just start editing. Thank you. Thank you. That is, that is one of the biggest benefits that I haven't mentioned yet is there's no transcoding time. Uh, recording directly to your editing Kodak saves you all of that time of having to sit down and watch the footage. I have a lot of editor friends that have unfortunately passed me up for the going out for drinks type thing because they have to go back to the hotel room and they have to do some editing. It's usually me when I see her. But <laughs> that's why we haven't gone out. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's that's just one of the other things to point out. And then, of course, you have your audio. And it does record the audio embedded in from the camera, but you can also record external audio as Ooh, well. That's nice. That's, that's very nice. And this is, we talked about it before, this will do DSLR cameras, it will do Panasonic cameras, Sony cameras. You're not limited, but how do I know which camera, whether or not it's working with my camera? Thank you for asking. The, the, the way that you'll know if it's working with your camera is whether your camera will give a clean HDMI feed or not. So if, you're ever, if you ever have any questions, we have a lot of resellers who have demo units in. You can bring your camera into the store and try it out and just check it if you have any questions or contact our sales department. We'll let you know. I can guarantee you if you try it, you will buy it because the price point is ridiculous. Tell me. Tell them the price point. Well, before showing you everything that's included in the kit, it's, it's a surprisingly affordable $9.95. Now, we're going to go to the kit so you can see what it is that you get for that because that is absolutely amazing. Let's, All right, let's go on over. It. 